So I started out with a piece of maple burl. It's three by three and about inch and a quarter thick. So I'm just gonna put it in the chuck so we can get it prepped to make this project. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use a Forstner bit to flatten out the bottom of it. And this will give it a nice flat surface to seat to the bottle opener. And you don't have to go in very far, just, just really enough to to get a flat surface. And then I went ahead and grabbed the 716 drill bit and we'll I have it marked on it with a Sharpie so I know how deep to go. And we'll go in and this is for the threaded insert. Uh, and this is the same process I use for doing opener handles and bottle stoppers. This right here, just get it nice and flat. So I've been playing around with wood glue for the stainless inserts. I know I've been, I recommended using five minute epoxy and it really does work, but every once in a while they they will come, come loose. But, so I've been playing around with the wood glue and I haven't had one come loose yet and I've done about 30 of them. So I think I'm switching to just regular wood glue. It seems to hold really well. So just put a little bit in the hole, put the insert in and wipe off the excess. So I went ahead and let it set up overnight, came back out the next day and we'll go ahead and get the mandrel put on and then get this thing turned. So the mandrel just threads right on there. The stud on it is 3.816, the inserts are 3.816, and it is ready to go. So bring the tailstock up because it is a little stud there. So I bring the tailstock up, whether I'm doing this, bottle stoppers, bottle openers, pizza cutter handles, whatever it is, bring the tailstock up to support it until you get almost done. So I use the number one hollower to clean up the bottom of it here. And this is the bottom the bottle opener is going to screw right onto that when we are all done. Then I switched over to a spindle gouge. We'll get the corners knocked off here and to get this thing shaped. Help support the companies that support our community. So the whole process, it, it, I mean, other than gluing, glue, prepping it and gluing in the insert, probably takes about 10 minutes. It really, they they went really quick. It's kind of like turning a bo you know, bottle stopper. But uh, yeah, it's other than I did burn it here, and you'll see that here in a second. But other than that, just turning it, doing these, this, this part right here, it does not take very much time. So we are doing a flying saucer. I know it kind of looks like a like a hat, but I think flight saucers look like hats then. So I leave the tailstock up until I get 95% of it, 99% of it turned. I'm using the, the fine detailer here. Just put a little groove right there so that the wire burner will slide right inside of it. I'm just cleaning that, that edge up a, just a bit. The wire burner still have the late speed running, probably, I don't know, probably 2,500. And then once I got that done, pull the tailstock away and just clean up that little nub right there. And then I ran through all the grits. I ran through them up to, I believe it was 320. And I am going to burn this, so I didn't want to finish finish sanding it. I had a couple grits at the very end. So just run through your grits, get it all cleaned up. 
So I'm going to switch tool rests here. So this is the tool rest I use for the joiner off-center jig. It has that little groove in it there so you can get your tool or whatever it is right back in the same spot every time. So I'm going to use this little piece of steel. It's, it was actually a, a barbecue uh, like tongs, not tongs, but like a giant fork. Anyway. It didn't work, it didn't work, so I cut the fork off and I'm gonna use it for burning. The only problem with it is it is thin metal, so it doesn't stay hot very long. So, but it is like retractable, there's some different sizes if you wanted to cut it apart, it actually worked out great. But it heats up really fast and then it cools down really fast. So I kinda ended up here in a second just holding on to the torch, heating it up, putting it in and, and not. I was trying to set the torch down before I burnt and that wasn't working. But if you put it right back in that little groove right up against the, the wall on either side, it, they will work out and be in the same spot every time. And I used the indexing system, went uh, two positions every time to get it to space it out a little bit. So I think it was right around in here when Robin asked me about the indexing system on the lathe and she said it just automatically lines up every time. I go, yes. And then I screwed up and went one hole instead of two. <laughs> and so I have three little rings together and she goes, that's all right. It's like the cockpit. All right. <laughs> yeah. So the indexing system, if you go every three, it'll work out, every four, every five, whatever it is, it evenly spaces them all the way around. But yeah, the little tool, um, I wish it was a little bit thicker and held the heat a little longer, but it did the job. And this is the last one there. And you can see my little mistake right there. Yeah, three of them together. As soon as I touched it, it burnt too, too well. And anyway, it's got some character, right? I went ahead and ran through the rest of the grits, just getting the, the little bit of char off of from burning it. And then we'll get some oil on it. And again, it's just the walnut oil and it just really brings out the wood. Just makes it look beautiful. Then you just unscrew it straight from the mandrel, just like stoppers or anything else, and screw it right into the insert and you're done. There we go, my little mess up on the indexing plate put three of them together. So, a beer goes right on like that. Open it up. They're awesome little bottle openers. So, now I need to find somebody that can drink that because I cannot stand the taste of beer. I know it's an acquired taste, but I, ugh. I maybe had two beers my whole life, but it's just, from taking sips out of being polite and then putting it down on the table somewhere and walking away. Ugh, nasty. Anyway, I know there's a lot of beer lovers out there and I'm sure that's a good, good beer. But uh, fun project is 
uh, I found these on Pinterest, um, and they had like a bottle opener that was set inside of it, so you kind of kind of used it like that. But I thought it'd be really cool with one of ours. It makes a nice little little stand with it, and fun quick project, 10, 15 minutes tops. If you don't uh, burn the, burn the line, so that took a little bit longer. So I did five or six of these. Um, here are some pictures of the ones I did. I did ones where I just burnt uh, some lines in it, which kind of look look really cool. I did one of them where I didn't burn anything on it. So there's a lot of different variations you could do with it, but it's a fun, fun little project. All right, hope everybody has a great weekend. Take care, and we will see you next time.